PPR is affecting a uh, small ruminant. Sheep and goat, they are producing uh, meat, milk, and many other product. And uh, by uh, killing small, uh, sheep and goat, uh, small ruminant impact on the availability of the, the meat and the milk coming from the small ruminant. It is also uh, breeding small ruminant provide incomes and uh, in incomes that used by those population to access to other product. When they lost their animals, they, they, this affects their livelihood and their, their ability even to access to other product. So we see that is affecting the food security but also is affecting the, the, the nutrition aspect because small ruminant product uh, contribute to the jet of the, the, the population, in particular the youth and, and the women. We, we know also that uh, the, the, the presence of the disease cause uh, pastoralists and farmers uh, to migrate away from their land because the fact that they, they, they lost their livelihood uh, uh, caused the fact that they, they move from, from their, their, their place. And this also can uh, create some other problems because they are moving to new lands, new region, uh, and, 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 and this creates some conflict and even you know, leading to some other, other, other situation, uh, migratory, even, you know, uh, as I said, uh, that conflict. Uh, because they, they, they lost everything. The main objective are to support the country to better understand their epidemiological situation, to know if the disease is present or absent. Because we have around 70 countries in Africa, in Asia, in Middle East, where the disease is reported. We have also to work with countries where the disease is not reported to develop their capacity to verify if the absence of the disease and to apply to be recognized as free of the disease. The initial first five year uh, aim really to, to lay the foundation for the eradication of the disease. And this will include supporting countries to assess their situation, to know where the disease is, and to know if the disease is present or not. Because we estimate that there are around 70 countries in Africa, in Asia, in Middle East, where the disease is reported. And uh, when the disease the presence of absence of the disease will be well known. They, we have good tools, we have good vaccine uh, that able to control and further eradicate the disease. So we are working with countries to assess their situation, to build their capacity to, for, for, to establish a surveillance system, uh, to build their capacity to uh, establish uh, capacity for laboratory diagnosis, but also to involve the farmers because this activity is not only the responsibility of the veterinary uh, services, but should include the farmer, the traders, all the key actors along the uh, small remnant value chain. By 2030, we hope that the world will be free from this disease as it is the case now for Rinderpest. This is really the main uh, expected outcome. Uh, for PPR, we have a good vaccine. It's not very expensive. Uh, and if we have target intervention, uh, vaccinating all susceptible animals, we are able to achieve uh, the eradication. Eradicating PPR uh, by 2030, is feasible because we have good tools and we have the knowledge uh, to address the challenge. And this will have an important impact 
in many population, mainly poor population, use women that mainly rely on a small remnant product. And this will contribute to, to the resilience of communities that are generally living in very uh, fragile region. And, uh, in, 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 and, and this will contribute to, to mitigate uh, the risk for uh, migration. And uh, this PPR is a transborder animal disease. It, it, it only one country will not be able to to address it to address it to to to, to face it. Uh, it requires a global effort, and uh, it is why FAO, OIE, and other partners in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, uh, in Middle East are joining their effort to 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 face it. As we did for the past, we will be able by 2030 to celebrate the eradication of the second animal disease worldwide.